Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. This time we will take a look into checkbox component from Angular Material. Before we start with this video, make sure to visit my website where you can find all of my tutorials and also courses that I have on Skillshare and Udemy. As you can see on my screen, we will use a simple checkbox. Checkbox itself can hold a specific styling from material and also it can be bind to our properties that we can hold in our TypeScript. First of all, we will generate our component for a checkbox. To do that, go into your own terminal and use the command of ngg for generate, c for component and we will generate our component in components slash checkbox. Once the component is generated, we can render it on our screen. First of all, I will hide this card component from my last video. And if you wish to check that video as well, make sure to click the link down in the description of this video. Now, after this card, I will first put the comment of checkbox and I will use app checkbox to render my checkbox component that we just generated. And I will also set end of checkbox as an ending comment for this. As we wish to use checkbox for material, we must go into our own app module and here we must import the corresponding module for our checkbox. First of all, this checkbox component can be moved here to a top and now I will import mat checkbox module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash checkbox. Also, make sure to pass this math checkbox module down in an imports array as well. To now simply use a checkbox component, go into your own components, open up HTML file for our checkbox. Here, first of all, I will create the div and this div can hold a style of margin top 50 pixel and text align can be center. If you wish to use a checkbox component, you can simply use math checkbox which is the material element which will render this checkbox component for us. Also here we are also able to well pass some text like check me for example. And we can also bind this checkbox to some of our properties that I already mentioned. To do that, make sure to bind the property of checked and bind it to some of your boolean properties like check for example. We must also create this check property. So open up your TypeScript file and in this TypeScript here you can create the check and as a default I will set this to true. So basically when we load our page our checkbox should be already, well it should already be checked. If you would open now your local host 4200 you should see this check me checkbox which is already ticked which means that that binding to that check property also worked perfectly. We can as we wish uncheck it and check it when we wish basically. But going back to my HTML now, I will copy and paste my checkbox two more times. I will remove this checked property. We don't need it for these two examples because I wish to use colors here. And yes, we can style our checkboxes with, with different colors from material, well, from material theme itself, as we did for our buttons. If you wish to check the video for a buttons, you will have a link down in the description of this video as well. So here I can use a color and set this color to a primary color, which is a color from my own well material theme. And for this third one, I can set the color to be a warn, which stands for a warning color from material theme. Now in my local host, I have three checkboxes. First one is pink. Second one is this kind of bluish color. And the last one is an orange, well, kind of danger or a warning color. Now, once again, make sure to visit my website where you can find all of my tutorials and courses that I have on YouTube, Skillshare and Udemy. Also, make sure to sign up for my newsletter so that way you will also get the cool discounts on all of my courses on Udemy. But this will be all for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.